Oh, dude. Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Back with another video. Today I'm taking you on a my normal average Saturday training ride. Uh, this usually includes a two hour ride, a couple of intervals that are scheduled in. It's a good opportunity for me to ride with people. Saturday mornings we meet up with a group of lads, four, five, six people usually come along. Local and good friends of mine. And yeah, we just head out, we have some fun, have a bit of banter chat about how our week went, all that kind of stuff. They usually don't like me following them or behind them uh, when we're riding down, but today I'm gonna make sure that they go in front of me and I'm gonna try and hunt them down, see how many of the lads I can catch, if, if I'm lucky enough, because they're really good riders, so it's not an easy task. It's something actually in my training program that I have put in at times, is let them go first and chase them and hunt them down. Uh, it's just like a good character chase, a bit of motivation and like I said, they're not slow, so it isn't easy. So today, you guys will join in on that. Uh, everything will be filmed from the GoPro, so I will switch you to the GoPro in three, two, one. Try to get away from me. Uh, <laughs> it's cold. It's cold, huh? Oh yeah. Did what set what set have you got them on? I keep busting. I got it on the red switchers. Oh, oh I don't know if I have to be getting but those bars are mad. Those bars are actually insane. Eh? Those bars are insane. What will be the future if you get older? Won't see them on Let's see them on my bike. You say that. <laughs> and then you go, you don't see my hand, it's super sore. Well, your man was there. Well, even if you bought it, Go for it, boys. Why e bike tires? That's a 2 4, not a 2 6. <laughs> Why e bike tires though? But they thicker, are they actually thicker yeah, casing? Yeah. Yeah. They are, right? Uh, it gives you a kind of dampening effect like having a <laughs> rim protector in. Uh, <laughs> as well has been fast on the downs. They're pretty quick on the ups as well. It's pretty sick to ride with a uh, group of guys that don't get out during the week like I do. So when they get to ride, they, uh, it's like they're caged, you know, like a caged dog waiting to get out. So when they get out, they're full of energy and rare to go, it's pretty cool to see. And yeah, keeps me, keeps me honest on the climbs when I'm tired after a full week of training, so. <laughs> It's the hardest climb on the whole hill, isn't it? Especially when it's like this. Soggy. Heart rate saying one six. Six. Working for it today. But grind away this bit. Does it do justice? How steep this part is. Oh. I'll give you his 10 seconds. That's plenty of time. You local guys. These are locals. He's been around longer than I have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've been riding these trails when I was just a wee, wee, wee burn. I'm not doing any straight lines. No way. Give them 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't think I'm gonna catch them. Oh, that's a section that I broke my wrist off. Go on, boys. Oh, let's go. Oh, sorry if there is loads of mud on the GoPro. Oh, it's really hard to keep it clean. Rider! Oh, God. Muck. The pile up. Oh. oh, man down. Oh. Come in for the STL. Oh. So difficult to keep the camera mud free but do my best. Pretty cool though. Like I said, it encourages me to go fast and try and try and catch up with them basically. Days like these are the days. They make me look really forward to Mondays which are my rest days. Just working through the fatigue of midweek training. Yeah, still got to do two intervals as well. Kind of towards the end of the ride when I'm most tired. We're gonna drop in another trail now in a couple minutes. Also, I forgot to mention those bars that I was just flexing. Um, comment below. Let me know if they're something that you would ride because I jumped on them and I tried to ride with them. And my wrists were folding because they would move so much. Something I've never, such a unique feeling. But yeah, I think it's maybe something that people who struggle with arm pump should certainly consider. I mean, it's just a recommendation. Because he knew. And they're off. Let's go. Oh, oh it's so wet. Oh, those roots. Day. Oh, we're clean. Come in for you, Dad. I can't even see. I can't see. Can you see? Uh, I got one in the first two, and then two corners there. Right? Oh, so these intervals are normally like, I don't know, two to three minutes. Um, I'm gonna break it up though in the clips so you don't have to watch the whole thing. But uh, just about maintaining a decent pace and uh, yeah, following what my heart rate's saying, so. Oh. Let's go. Just settle into it. Set at a pace. Push the gear. Never ideal when there's a headwind as well. This is a steep hill. Are you serious, man?
Holy. Those are actually pretty straightforward when you're feeling fresh. Not feeling so fresh though right now. I think I'm in week six or seven of my training block. So that's rep one done. These are parts that you don't see or that I don't post. This is the whole point of the channel is to give you guys a behind the scenes uh, shot of what goes on and yeah how hard it is in the struggle. That was a two and a half minute interval but I pretty much pushed as hard as I could and when it went up and up you just like the GoPro obviously doesn't do justice how steep it is so yeah got a second one coming up right now so let's get it. I usually like to roll back down a little bit just to recover and get straight back into it. Oh, my legs. No joke, just fade. That's the whole point though. Push the body, we'll learn to work through it. 188. Hit 190. 190. Oh. 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 do those intervals just prior to the season they're like a piece of cake just because I'm fresh and I'm peaking in time but this time of month or time of year is yeah probably the hardest so pretty happy with that always happy when I can push hard towards the end get my heart rate up I think it was 194 yeah, I'll take that. Now we get to have a fun descent. The best part. I don't even know what's on the other side of the drop. It does say check out features. On foot. On foot. I don't think I can walk down there. Oh, you have a scope still. Yeah. Well, let's just inspect it quickly. <laughs> Whoa! Don't have to worry about that. We've got to go. Off that, absolute nothing well got to go off the drop though at the top. What you mean? Is that what you mean? I like? think this bit here will be a bit. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was thinking I might just go into there. Yeah. Because that. Yeah. What? Like, wait a minute, where do you go? We do a bit of turning, yeah. Uh, that's off, gone, buddy. Oh, we'll give it a go. Oh! Oh, he's pissing out! <laughs> Left here. Yeah, I was just like, eh. everyone was just going there. Their own way. Oh, yeah, I had no idea. Oh, I think we might have a mechanical. Drop down a bit. Slow down a bit. Oh, didn't crash that time. Probably because I'm not on a 16 inch scooter.
landed on Lewis. We kind of decided if uh, the trails were, if it was going to be too windy or not, but we, we managed to do it. So heading on now. Dick has a flat tire. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in. Give the video a like if you enjoyed this content and seeing what I was up to. And uh, make sure you're subscribed. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.